everybody, it's Christine. I have been organizing my craft room. I say my craft room, really more like my papers and things. And I was cleaning out, I have, you know what, hang on one second. This is a bit of a unique deal here on a layout uh, process video, but this is where I keep like what I call my quote active kits. The ones I'm kind of actively going to the most at the moment. There's a lot of the top row is like my hip kit. I have the second row is um, my scrap room flavors of the month. And then the other ones are ones, um, I don't know, that I've either cut into, there's some 49 in market on the third row. Anyway, that's the point is, that's where I've got that. Now, I also have these, you guys. And the one on the upper left, there's like a cube there, um, kind of the top row. That's where I have like my themed papers. And then I have the scraps or in the baggies kind of next to the black thingies. And then I have colored cardstock on the second row. And then even more cardstock on the bottom. So I showed you all that to show you that I had pulled these papers here out of one of my little trays on the wall with my active kits. It's been in there and this is basically all I have. It was this stuff. I'm like, Christine, why is this still in here? Like that's literally all that was in there. That was just silly. So I guess this is a bit of a bonus baby got scraps because I'm going to make the a layout. I, I pulled this picture out because I think it looks kind of cute and this is kind of, this is boho-y but kind of beachy feel too, right? So I'm going to put something together with these guys. Um, I think I'm going to put these two together and build a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And no, no, so sorry. This side, I think. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. This may end up going back in my stash. We'll see. Um, and then I've got these little squares. I had already cut these. I don't know what I did with I don't remember now what I did with, but I'm thinking I was going to do that. And then I'm going to do, you know, something here. And then maybe I'll do like little, little embellishments and stuff around the little squares there. Not sure. Um, but anyways, I, let me get, back, let me get a little cut in here going. I need to tape these two together and let me get on here and I'll be back in a second. Okay. You guys, this turned out so cute. I'm really happy. Um, and I cannot remember now this was called boho something, and it might have been a simple stories collection. I'm so sorry. I don't remember. And I'm not going to, I'm too lazy right now to go look it up. If you really, really, really want to know message, you know, comment below and I'll look it up, but I know it was boho something. And the reason I saying it may have been simple stories is because I, when I get into the embellishments, it's I'm pulling out simple stories like flowers and stuff. So, and the colors work perfectly. So I don't know for certain, certain, but it might've been. So what I've got going on here is I'm using my little mat, um, Tim Holtz mat here to figure out what's 12 by 12. And I have glued that down with a piece of double-sided tape. And I did that on purpose the where I did it. So I could cut off that end right there. And then I'm using that as basically a little, you know, inner stripe, and it just breaks that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to use my fingers and just kind of rough up these edges here. I didn't pull out the distressor. I didn't want to overly distress. I really just kind of wanted a real, just a simple little ruffle. And I say ruffle, you know, with your finger. And so I'm going to glue this down. And then I already had those little squares cut. You're going to see me start putting that down. And I, I kind of organize it where um, no pattern is touching each other and... I'm trying to keep them, you know, a little bit variety because I only had uh, five, which honestly worked out perfectly because her the picture is going to end up being kind of the sixth square in a way. So I've got this little, honestly, I'm kind of kicking myself. Um, I had glued everything down. I had all my embellishments going down and I was actually getting to the very end looking for some enamel dots and I found some little tiny smiley faces that are kind of intended for shaker pockets. And I'm like, gosh darn it, if I had remembered I had those, I would have built a shaker pocket on this thing, but it was too late. It, there was just nowhere to put it. So now I'm sad. Um, you know, I may have to go buy that piece of paper some other kind of way. I'm certain there's other smiley faces. I don't know why I'm acting like that, but I was kind of sad because I was like, I could have made a shaker pocket, but it's okay. Anyways, I'm going to glue these guys down. Actually, we'll rotate that for just a second because I want my stripes kind of pointing toward the picture. So I rotate that, and again, I'm going to glue all these down, and I'm going to use my fingernail again to rough up the edges. And again, you can kind of see I've got the squares where they're uh, the little polka dot, the little terracotta polka dots away from the, the stripe of it. And then I got my little smiley face and all that kind of stuff. Now, the picture, I showed you guys that stripe paper there. I really love this little stripe. This is a real pretty stripe. I'm going to end up using it to map my photos. I'm going to put that scrap in my scraps, though, you guys. <laughs> it's going in my scraps because I do love it. It's beautiful. Um, um, but I'm just going to mat this. And then there's actually that piece of uh, cream-colored cardstock over there on the right-hand side. And that's going to be my other mat. I'm going to basically double mat this. Um, I do not remember now if I rough up the edges with my fingernails. I want to say no because I don't usually do that with cardstock anyway. And I'm not certain I do it with this... Uh, 
The mat's so skinny, I don't think I do, actually. So I'm just going to trim this down. I am going to decide to put it up on foam. And so I'm going to set this down for just a second. It's going to be offset just a tad on purpose because I am going to put some embellishments to the right of the photo. So I grab into my fun foam here. Now my ATG gun acts like a little brat. I don't know what's going on with my ATG gun. It's just, I don't know. Is this I had trouble because I reloaded this... Uh, this with some tape I got, and it's the same tape I usually buy, so I don't know why it's acting like this unless I messed it up some kind of way, putting it on backwards or something, but he's definitely acting like a little brat. So I have gotten into, this is what I mentioned to you, I had these Simple Stories pieces. This is like a page thing. Um, it's from, I don't know which collection this one's from. It's from Enjoy the Everyday. That's what it was. That's what the bigger ones, those little page pieces. I love the little rainbow. That is so cute, and that goes up over on the left-hand side. And then the title every day is going to be part of my overall title, which is going to be Smile Every Day. And I love this little Insta camera, Instax camera or whatever you want to call that little, I, not Polaroid because that's a brand and all that kind of stuff. But my daughter used to love the, uh, those. She, has, she doesn't have one right now, but she used to love that. Um, and I'm just grabbing little things. Then, honestly, that little boba tea that you see right there um, was not in these. I had As I was pulling these out, I saw it in my little bin of kind of extra embellishments. And you guys, these are this is my daughter and, and him own a nutrition club together, and they have energy teas and stuff like. They actually have boba that they put in their energy tea, so that is a perfect little embellishment for them. And I'm just pulling out the florals too. I'm gonna kind of flesh out the embellishment clusters with the florals, and I'm gonna put y'all. I'm sorry, the cat is sitting on my layout, so I can't see it right now. <laughs> I also have those scrap and happy studio, but a uh, flare up there, and I'm kind of feeling a little a certain kind of way because I bought those to go with my discover and create and y'all I have yet to use it with discover and create. <laughs> I've used it with other layouts because the colors have been good with other things. So, um, I end up using three flare on this one cause it's kind of perfect. And, um, I'm going to build basically the little three, you know, visual triangle with these three little flare here. And I don't use the green one that doesn't work. So I'll pull out this other little color here. It's the coral color, I think. And I'm going to just kind of build out these clusters. You're going to see me kind of fast around. I've got them almost done, but that one on the right side right there, I still want to do something with it. And so I get into this. This is called Trail Mix, I think. But it's, again, the same kind of color families. And I find a little tag in here. I'm kind of messing around. A lot of this is actually related to, like, camping stuff, which obviously is, that's not what we got going on here. But there's a little tag that has, it looks to me like a little, uh, uh, what do you call it, life preserver, like a little, the round ones. Um, and so not that I try this for just a second and I realized, no, that's entirely too square and does not look right with all the little, um, square pieces I got going on. I go, that's not going to work. Then I find the one, you can kind of see it poking. I hadn't come across it just yet, but there it is. That one looks pretty good. It's got, like I said, it's like a little life preserver or something. So I kind of build this up and I do write on, I'll do journal on that. I'll put, um, Brooke and Seth Galveston 2023. So that looks pretty good there. I will pull another flower out, though, because I set that flare over in there. I, I mess with the smile just a little bit. I struggle with that for just a little bit. Um, it just seemed to have a weird location. I'll end up putting another flower up in there, though, a little bit darker color, the little terracotta color, and organize it just a little differently, and it, it, it ends up looking pretty good. I usually... Um, I say usually. I'm going to put foam up under the edges of some of the flowers and different things. I'm messing with that, y'all. I'm going to have to pull that other flower out for it to make me happy is what's going to happen. Because it just feels like off. It just feels a little off from a size and, and like this shape standpoint, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I have glued everything down. I've put foam up underneath the edges of the, some of the flowers and the various, the title every day has foam up underneath it. Um, just added, you know, added some dimension. So I decided to put the string on the little tag over here. I struggle with it. My thumbs don't work, y'all. They don't work. And I'm going to trim that off. I'm, and again, that's where I'm going to write the journaling. We had gone down to Galveston, by the way. I'll just tell you real quickly. Because we were doing the cruise in December, my husband, we had organized to stay at a hotel. There was a hotel down there that you could leave your vehicle while you're at the cruise. The, the rate was, I, I might have mentioned this in another video. I'm not even sure. But it was only like $69 a night. So it's not a five-star hotel or anything, but it was fine. It was clean. It was orderly. Um, but you could leave your car all week because if you stayed at the, the cruise terminals uh, garages, it was like $22 a day. Well, my gosh, you're gone, you know, five nights, six nights, whatever it is. And we could get a hotel room for 69 bucks and leave your car. So it worked out well. They had like a, it's a, you know, gated little thing. And 
it was fine. We we had no issue, free breakfast and everything. So we'd gone down there to see it though, because that was the thing. My husband was like, I need to go see this place to make sure uh, we could feel safe leaving our car there before we make that our plan. And it was fine. So that was our little trip. We just spent basically the day over there. And uh, this was just on the beach that day. So that's the layout, you guys. This was kind of an unexpected uh, baby got scraps for me because I really didn't necessarily intend to do that. But there we are. I wanted to get it used up and I'm happy with this. I'm really, really happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have no clue when I'm going to post this. So no idea what you're going to see. But you know what? If you do the little notification bell on the subscribe and all that kind of stuff, you will know when I'm posting. We will see you later. Bye.